In this problem, we're going to write a word problem such that the answer is a whole number with remainder. So the answer cannot be uh, a mixed number, or you can't. We can't cannot have um, f uh, fractions in the answer. So in, that means if you have a remainder and that remainder cannot be divided further, it ha must be some object or some or people. That these are um, we things we cannot um, split. And so, for example, we could use twenty three students are divided equally into groups of five. So and because the reason I did that is because the question needs to be, so this question here needs to be number of groups following the instruction. If the answer is number of groups, that means this number given must be number of units in one group. Again, 23 will be the total number of units. The first number is in division in both interpretations. The first number always means the total number of units. So in this case, what I picked, um, the number of uh, the units, I picked the students. So the units here literally means students. So we have 23 students, and that means, again, units means students. So five students in each group. How many groups can we get? Okay, so next, and uh, also, because the five doesn't, the number five doesn't go into twenty-three, so the answer um, must have that we must have a remainder. So how many students are left? And explain why this is a how many groups problem? Because twenty-three units corresponds to um, well, the twenty-three students corresponds to twenty-three units, and the five units in each group means uh, five students in each group means five units in each group. So the question will be how many groups? And to solve this word problem, we can use a math drawing, uh, which is what they ask us to do, use math drawing. So instead of using long division. So we take 23 and divide into groups of five. So every five, five of them, five students will become a group. So five, first group, second of five, second group, third group, three fives, four fives. But then we notice after we take four fives, there are only three left, and these are not enough to form a group of five. So these are the remainders here. So we can see from the drawing, we're going to form four groups with the remainder three.